We need to do this uh, concrete to be like soup type. Right? Yeah. That yeah, polythene okay. helps it not to penetrate. Yeah. So when you vibrate, that soup won't go down. down. So the moment you move that polythene, the, all those the air the air spaces yeah, all enclosed. So the, the recommended for especially for the rooftop yeah. is uh, just waterproof. Uh, make sure you use the, the add mixture in the in the initial in the initial uh, concrete. Yes. And then do the waterproofing. Mm -hmm. Do the membrane. Uh -huh. After the membrane, you do the screed, which is also waterproof, and then you protect it. Oh, yeah. And how hard will this be? Because we intend to have a helicopter landing on the roof. Now, all those things they have a component. Even the oh, and just okay. a quick thing that we did mm -hmm. because the party was coming. Mm -hmm. So after we have done that, now we are working on the rest of the interior of the house. Uh -huh. So we are going to do gypsum in several areas yeah. also. Yeah. We are going to add more gypsum in several areas. Yeah. We will discuss with the boss and see which areas need gypsum. Uh -huh. uh, especially this area needs a gypsum also. Uh -huh. And also in the kitchen. Uh -huh. You know when you do gypsum, you get, a, you get to play with the lighting. Yeah. Yeah, you get to play with the lighting and also how to position your lighting. Yeah, yeah. So we are going to have this some in many, many other areas. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that main gypsum there was your selling point, right? Yeah, that, yeah. Was, my, that was my entry point. So maybe um, we should finish at that. So oh, we finish at that. Because that's the most <laughs> exciting part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you tell us a story about that. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We installed this door. Oh, it's big. This is a very, very, very massive what? door. It's wet. It's still wet. Yeah, I'm just approximating. It's 75 millimeters thick. What? Wood. Uh, this is solid wood mahogany. Mahogany. It's very heavy. Look at this. Uh, it's very, very heavy. thick. Solid wood. Compact wood. It's very heavy. It's what? around 180 kilos. 180 kilos. 180 kilos to something like that. So it's what? very heavy. That's why you see, mm -hmm. when you look at it, we have used a very different method of uh, hanging. We have not used the, the normal hinges. Okay. Yes. So how, normal how, hinges. how do you hang this door? Because uh, it's, I see like it's suspended and it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can yeah. watch my video. Okay, I've okay. done a whole series on this oh, door. On this door, yeah, yeah. From where we installed the frame, mm -hmm. how we hang it. Mm -hmm. We use the pivot. Uh, this is called the pivot floor spring. The pivot floor spring. Floor spring. Yeah. So floor spring mm -hmm. is designed to hang very heavy doors. Mm -hmm. So this pivot can carry this door, mm -hmm. and if it was a height of uh, two meters, yeah. it would carry the same door. What? This door, if it was two times this, yeah, uh -huh. it would still carry. Can carry up to 400 kilos. 400 kilos. Yeah, the spring, the floor spring will carry up to 400 kilos. Yeah. Uh, uh, in China, especially the old buildings, yeah. they have humongous doors, humongous doors very yeah. tall and very thick. Mm. Uh, but I didn't pay attention to. I think that I've never paid attention to how they okay, suspend how the they door. Suspend yeah, but now. Having seen this door, you go there, you go and watch. Maybe uh, the other way to suspend this door, if it's like this, is uh, use uh, those classic old door hinges. Mm -hmm. But now you need to have a very massive frame, okay. a massive frame, mm -hmm. so that the hinge will, will will eat into the frame, mm -hmm. then eat into the door. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the standard uh, normal hinges cannot hold it. Okay. So that's why it is easier to use a pivot okay. to balance as well. Oh. because of the weight. How many men do you need to uh, make Watch this? the video. We, we, we <laughs> have this door we documented everything, everything. from scratch. Okay, okay. How we did it. We had yeah. uh, close to six men carrying six men. the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So guys, if you are new here, make sure you go to In Concept Interiors Studio to watch that video. Yeah, then watch. Let them watch the video. Yeah. We installed the frame. Yeah. We installed the door. Yeah. Uh, even the floor spring, yeah. we had to cut the tile mm -hmm. and put it inside there mm -hmm. and secure it very well with concrete. Mm -hmm. Had to wait for it to dry mm -hmm. 24 hours and mm -hmm. then we, we hang the door. This can last even 1,000, even forever? Yeah, as long as you just do, uh, like now what we are doing, mm -hmm. we, are, we are painting the door. Mm -hmm. 
the boss wanted it to be painted black, <laughs> like here. Like, uh, so to complement the... Yeah, but now, <laughs> you realize the store is very expensive, mm -hmm. and there's beauty in wood, eh? yeah. and there's beauty in the grains yeah. of the wood. So when you look at it like this mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. you can you can see the grains, yeah. the wood grains. Those wood grains are the ones which give you the, the richness of the door, mm -hmm. and gives you that uh, elegant look. Mm -hmm. So I thought instead of painting it black, because if you paint it black, mm -hmm. it will either be like a piece of metal mm -hmm. or a piece of uh, engineered wood. Mm -hmm. But you know, solid wood in itself, when you look at it, it looks expensive, mm -hmm. elegant, mm -hmm. and uh, very presentable. So I decided mm -hmm. instead of painting it black, we just stain it. So what we are doing now is uh, staining. We stained it. Mm -hmm. uh, brown in color so we stained it into a dark walnut mahogany mm -hmm. this is dark walnut mahogany mm -hmm. no no dark american walnut the dark color is american walnut yeah, the color is american walnut okay. so dark uh, american walnut mm -hmm. uh, so we have decided to stain it so that we can maintain the wood grains okay then for the people who don't know more about paint um, i'm lost what's the difference between staining and painting okay it's staining yes yeah. when this when this door came mm -hmm. maybe i'll show you from here you can see the, the okay we will also paint this you can see the color inside yeah yeah it's brown brown yeah that yeah. is the natural wood yeah? yeah so that's how it was looking like but now you can see it's black it's, oh, it's dark. dark yeah yeah so the stain mm -hmm. is something that you apply on a piece of wood mm -hmm. to to change the original shade mm -hmm. to give it the shade that you want oh, okay, okay so in this case we wanted uh, a walnut shade mm -hmm. which is darker mm -hmm. that will match with our color scheme mm -hmm. There's also a mahogany stain mm -hmm. that you can put on, on mm -hmm. that will enhance the mahogany color in it. Okay, okay. We also have uh, some stain like pine mm -hmm. that will lighten the wood. Mm -hmm. So we have different stains. So stain is uh, just changing it from its natural color mm -hmm. to the color that to the shade that you want. Okay, okay. Yeah, shade. So that's what we call stain. Stain. Okay. So stains comes in different colors. Okay. We have pine. We have mahogany, mm -hmm. we have uh, walnut, mm -hmm. so this we decided to do it in mahogany, uh, walnut, yeah. American walnut. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, after staining, mm -hmm. we had to apply the wood preservative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you see the door is open to the yeah. outside, yeah. yeah? Outside there, there's humidity, mm -hmm. there's sunshine, mm -hmm. there's rain, there's everything. Mm -hmm. So when, when wood gets in contact with the sun mm -hmm. and water, tends to wear out okay. yeah okay. and uh, the water the sun mm -hmm. those two things when you combine yeah. they, they tend to wear the wood out yeah, yeah. and then uh, it, it starts rotting yeah. so for also the insects yeah, also the insects yeah. so for your piece of food not to be attacked by those stuff mm -hmm. and not to be tempered with the weather mm -hmm. you need to do what we call uh, you treat it mm -hmm. for the all weather conditions yeah so whatever uh, color you're seeing now here also a treatment for the wood we have applied it it's oil best it has soaked into the wood mm -hmm. so that wood even if rain comes even if the sun comes mm -hmm. this wood will maintain this color at least for the next six to seven years oh, okay. of which it needs another sanding and record the painting again okay yeah right. otherwise if we don't do that within one year mm -hmm you'll see the wood start to change in color yeah, yeah. and it will start reacting to the weather yeah, yeah yeah so it's more sustainable to stain it and do all the preparations yeah we need to stain no we mounted we this mount so it faster are, than yeah, you do yeah, so we are doing the staining oh, now. okay okay you finished mounting you you're supposed to finish everything then you you stain yeah. and paint because if you don't do that when you're handling it it will get some scratches yeah. and stuff like that uh, how much does such a door cost i know they will watch the video but I'm just poking so that <laughs> we get something out of it. No, the boss didn't want to mention the price. Oh, the, uh, and it's close. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We respect tell you that. the price of camera. Yeah, we, we respect <laughs> that. We respect <laughs> privacy. That's yeah. awesome. Actually, you know, um, having said that, today I came, I was filming my way to this place. Mm. When I reached the gate, I had to stop filming. Mm. In fact, I didn't show the gate. Mm. So I told uh, my audience, you know, it's good if you go somewhere for the first time, mm -hmm. don't start doing things. Yeah. Wait, when you'll be given permission, then, then you can do it. Yeah, and uh, you know, with this, some, the owner cannot be comfortable with sharing certain information. So we also respect that. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Moving. Fine. Yeah. So, uh, I think 
he had had all about the dog. Yeah. And he saw there in our channel. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take my phone mm -hmm. uh, so that I can just show you my channel. Yeah. People can, it is yeah. easier. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Tells us it's always better to, to show. Because when you say in concept interiors, people, people will, will start go building. Yeah. Like, ah. yeah. 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 So let's go check uh, the in concept interior. Of, uh, Mr. Ebole is the CEO. You are the CEO of the company. Or maybe you can be saying that and then there's a CEO. <laughs> I'm one of the directors. Oh, he's one of the directors. It's good to clarify that he's one of the directors. So right now we just want to show you uh, his YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. Now, you are also the companies. No, I'm confused. My YouTube channel is the company. It's the company. So yeah, in concept the material. So let's show you. So in Concepts Interior Studio, studio. Uh, uh, this is the channel, they have 4.44 thousand subscribers and so 45 videos, impressive. Yeah. So if you want to watch that video I was telling you, subscribe and yeah. hit that notification button and click on all so that you can be able to be notified when he posts the next video about In Concept Interior Studio. Interiors studio. studio. Yeah. yeah. Are you are you also interested in travel vlogs or just uh, in concepts? Ah, interiors? You see, you see um, uh, when we came here, mm -hmm. we came to study about YouTube and learn about YouTube mm -hmm. and also all, everything that goes with YouTube. Right? Mm -hmm. So what I've learned is when you when you create a certain audience, mm -hmm. uh, stick to your lane. Yeah. So my, my videos are about interior design. Mm -hmm decoration and construction. Uh -huh. That's what I've told my people I will show them. Uh -huh. So I don't post travel videos. Uh -huh. If I travel to China, I'll go to a construction site, yeah. ask for permission, uh -huh. and film a video how China does construction. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. If I go to Uganda, yeah. I'll look for a construction site, uh -huh. show people how Uganda are constructing their houses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my videos are basically construction, uh -huh. interior design. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I don't do travel videos. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. If I, I travel, I'll, I'll show them uh -huh. the construction I'm on the way site to I went. That site. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'll, uh, when I get there, I'll uh -huh. show them uh -huh. uh, this is how things are done here. But I will not, uh, it's not good to mix content. It's yeah. good if you are a traveler, uh -huh. uh, just do travel videos. Yeah. If yeah. your content is uh, construction, because in fact, my channel, when I was registering, uh -huh. uh, there's a place whereby you, you are asked what, what is your content. Eh? Yeah, you so can. My, my content is educative. Educative. Yeah, so educative. So yeah. I'm teaching people uh -huh. how to do stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, I teach them how to paint their houses, uh -huh. how to prepare the wall. Uh -huh. uh, teach them how to do gypsum ceiling, teach them how to make kitchen cabinets, uh -huh. teach them how to make furniture. Uh -huh. So that is the kind of content I'm giving my people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I have to say you have a very unique name for a company. Huh? In Concepts Interiors. Interiors. Yeah. That's a very fancy, fancy name. It's fancy, yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> saying that because I once registered a company mm. and uh, Naming the company was a big, a very big challenge. Yeah, sometimes it's a yeah. hassle. You name it and then you go and find that this name has been already taken. Yeah, yeah. You name it, if, I, if I, you think you're the first one to think about it, yeah, yeah. somebody else thought about it before you. Yeah. yeah so, it's, uh, it's also, I like the name, uh -huh. and that's why I opened the channel. Yeah. And the same name. And you know, the other thing I like about the, the name, it speaks for itself and it is so powerful. Yeah. yeah. When you just mentioned that, eh, somebody builds something at the back of the mind, they know what they you are. The, the kind of content they are expecting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. why. That's why I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not ready to to post any other content uh -huh. because when you come to the channel, uh -huh. it speaks it's in interior. Uh -huh. These are concepts uh -huh. about interior design. Yeah, you know, a studio is whereby we do design. Yeah. We do, we do so lot of stuff. So it's so many other concepts mm -hmm. concerning interior design. Okay. Yeah. So when you read the name, mm -hmm. when you go there, you know what to expect. Okay. So okay. if you go there and you find me in a beach in Mombasa relaxing and <laughs> then you're like, ah, this is not what I came here to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> it's good to just to stick on the interior okay. uh, design mm -hmm. uh, stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah, and uh, how long have you done this? Because from the look of things, very, very good, mm. exquisite. exquisite. If, if you've never used that word, maybe start using it today. <laughs> exquisite. 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 Exquisite is something extremely super beautiful. Is it? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, exquisite. <laughs> yeah, extremely super beautiful. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How okay. long did it take for you to master this? Did you learn it in school or did you just uh, improve on a skill? Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm, my profession, I'm a fine artist. Fine artist? Yeah, fine artist mm -hmm. by profession. What do you mean by fine artist? I studied fine art. Okay, uh, you know. maybe, <laughs> maybe illustrate so that. Oh, this is fine art. This, uh, this one. Oh, okay. this is a painting. A painting. This is the kind of work that I used to do before I started interior. Oh, okay, okay. I used to paint, I used to do portraits, mm -hmm. I used to do just painting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. This is yeah. fine art. Okay. Making things like sculpture, mm -hmm. yeah, that is fine art. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. Uh, you can also do a sculpture. Yeah, I <laughs> But nowadays I don't do it. After when I started interior, uh -huh. I kind of uh, got too busy into interior, uh -huh. and uh, art uh, needs a lot of time uh -huh. and a lot of thinking uh -huh. and a lot of inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you start doing interior, also it's also demanding. Yeah. So it becomes difficult to do two things at the same time. Oh, okay, okay. So I just decided to concentrate on the interior because. Uh -huh. uh, in our country here, uh -huh. uh, fine art does not pay much. Uh -huh. Okay, when I used to do it, it was paying but not very much. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I had a friend of mine who, was, uh, who had a company for interior, uh -huh. and uh, he invited me to do for him some murals. Uh -huh. some murals in a studio. They were murals doing. are such like this. Uh, oh, they do the same on the wall. Uh -huh. they just paint this on the wall. Okay, those are what you call murals. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I went to do for them the murals uh -huh. in, a, in a studio they were preparing. Uh -huh. So after I did it, he told me, uh, now what, instead of working from home, uh -huh. why don't you come to our office and be working from here? Okay. And uh, we work together. Uh -huh. So when I got there, uh -huh. I started learning about the uh, interior design. Okay. So and uh, the, the artwork uh -huh. and the fine art was not very much. Uh -huh. At that time it was not, I didn't have too many projects. Uh -huh. So I got caught up into the interior design stuff uh -huh. and uh, I liked it and I, I, I got in too much uh -huh. and uh, I ended up learning everything that I'm doing here on job. Yeah. Do you have that one mentor who held your hand and introduced you to this uh, interior design? Yeah. Yes, I told you my friend. Uh, that, we, used to, we got uh, okay, church together. Okay, okay. Yeah. You used to teach? No, 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 no. Oh. He had a company. He had a interior company. Design company. Interior design. Okay, okay. So when I went to do for them the murals, mm -hmm. uh, he saw my skills mm -hmm. and he was like, uh, "You just work from home. Mm -hmm. You come." The company was very young, mm -hmm. so they didn't have enough staff. So he told me to be staying in the office mm -hmm. as it goes to the market okay. to, to do the marketing. Mm -hmm. So I could stay there, do my piece of art. Mm -hmm. So when the company started picking, mm -hmm. uh, we got a little bit busy, and he asked me, "Oh, can you go to the site and?" Uh, uh, supervise these guys when they are doing this, uh -huh. this and this and this. So I started going to the site uh -huh. and uh, I could watch them do it. Okay. So I worked there for three years. Uh -huh. Then after three years, uh, I thought, uh, I'm a fast learner by the way. Yeah, I'm yeah, very yeah, fast. I'm yeah. very fast. Uh -huh. and, and having a fine art background, uh -huh. I'm a person who likes doing things uh, uh, fast uh -huh. but perfectly. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a perfectionist. Uh -huh. I like doing things uh, the way they're supposed to be done. Uh -huh. So I learned that, and then uh, after that, I thought uh, if I've been doing this for three years uh -huh. for my friend, uh -huh. then I, I can also do it for It's myself. time to grow. <laughs> yeah, it's time I to move from the nest and yeah, fly yeah. on your own. So I, I started, uh, I just uh, started taking my own, my own projects. Uh -huh. I started uh, looking for clients uh -huh. and I just started small. Uh -huh. Somebody could call me and uh, we have a gypsum ceiling here in the living room, can uh -huh. you do it? Yes. Yeah. I could go with my guys, technician, uh -huh. yeah. do it like that. Uh -huh. So I've been developing the skills uh -huh. uh, for the last 10 years. Yeah. Uh, do you remember your very first client when you, when you stepped out on your own? Your very, very first client and how was that experience? The experience was fine. Uh -huh. I do remember very well. Uh -huh. I do remember very well. Uh -huh. In fact, my first client was uh, was uh, we had done a job for him uh -huh. before, uh -huh. and I was the supervisor uh -huh. on the site. Uh -huh. So when I left, uh, she had my contact uh -huh. and she called me, uh -huh. and I told her now I'm not working anymore in the company. Uh -huh. 
but I'm working on my own. He said, it's okay, you can come, I can give you a job. So that's how I started. Okay. Yeah. And moving forward, it has been uh, it's a impressive, long story, a long story yeah, it's a long progress story. upon yeah, progress. Progress upon progress, mm -hmm. progress upon progress. Mm -hmm. We have grown. Mm -hmm. uh, we have grown very fast. Mm -hmm. Right now, as we speak, we have, um, I mean, developing a, a line for furniture, mm -hmm. exclusive furniture. I have exclusive. a workshop. Mm -hmm. Mm, I told you I go to China. So yeah, 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 yeah. I went to China for the first time. I bought some machines for, uh -huh. to do woodwork. Woodwork. Yeah. Especially, I normally see the carvings, the beautiful yeah, impressions on the wood. Machines. Even so, the metals. Yeah. The, it's like uh, the paper punch. You punch and then it mm. leaves a very good decoration. Yeah. So we have some machines for, to do woodwork. So mm. we started a small uh, furniture line. Mm -hmm. It is still growing. Mm -hmm. And um, if you continue watching our videos, we are going to do some of the furnitures for this villa yeah, okay. in our workshop. Oh, some of the furniture in your workshop? Yeah. That's very impressive. Yeah, we, are, we yeah. do some of them. We, are, we design, we have, right now we have our, we have a design team. We, are, we design uh, furniture mm -hmm. to do them in our workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Apart from the site work, yeah, yeah. we also have a workshop where we do furniture. Okay. Uh, check, check on our... The What's same, it? the same, same name in Concept Interior Studio. Mm -hmm. uh, the same handle on IG. Okay. You will see some of our uh, products. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have a web website for it? Uh, no, we are developing a website oh, now. Oh, <coughs> yeah, we had a website, mm -hmm. and then uh, it expired, mm -hmm. so we don't want to upload it again. Yeah. yeah. So we are doing a new website yeah. now because what what we are what we've been doing here at Amara mm -hmm. now we have gone international because yeah. most of the clients that have contacted us are international. Mm -hmm. So we are doing a, a better website so mm -hmm. that even if somebody goes to look for us, yeah. we, we, uh, we have something presentable. To yeah. Present. yeah. And uh, make sure to subscribe. And uh, when you go international. You go document also there, and yeah. more people will know about the final st stage of a house. Yeah. Not just build, no, plan no, about yeah, everything. Documenting everything from scratch. Yeah, yeah from scratch. Yeah. Just if you watch my videos, you oh. said you watched my videos. Yeah, when this one. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you had said some uh, very good ladders all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some ladders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so me, when I came here to Marwa, uh -huh. I, I was not going to. I was not coming to be a YouTuber. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just came here as a company mm -hmm. to sell our company. Yeah. Just to say, uh, interior and in concept interiors mm -hmm. did this at Ayam Marwa. Yeah, yeah. So we were sure if Marwa gave us a shout out as a company, people mm -hmm. would be looking for our company. Yeah, yeah. They told me, you know, the best way to market is for you to open a YouTube channel for mm -hmm. your company, yeah. show the guys what you do, mm -hmm. details, everything. Yeah. And that's how we started. Mm -hmm. And within a very short time, yeah. We were shocked by the results. And uh, just to mention, that's one thing I like about Ayam Marwa. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you can see potential from afar. Yeah. So you can be having your own initiative, but you can tell you, no, that one is good, yes, but add on this and this, it yeah. will make you reach this and this, maybe. Yeah. Which is very, very impressive in terms of mentorship and holding each other's hand and moving forward yeah. together. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So I just wanted my audience to have that connection with you, knowing your journey, how you started, mm. uh, because I know time is limited, so we have to do it intelligently. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so moving forward, thank you about that piece of information. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so that's what we did. Mm -hmm. That's what we are. Mm -hmm. We've done this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we, we go up there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that we show you up here. Yeah. So yeah. You can also show them from down here. It looks so beautiful okay. because when you go up, uh -huh. you see what we did here. That's a, we call it a linear, a linear running like that. You can see a shooting yeah, star. Yeah, this uh, on the moon. Can you see a shooting star? Yeah, a shooting star. Yeah, that's a, we call it a comet or something. Yeah, comet, yeah, yeah, <laughs> comet, yeah. So we call it a linear, a linear uh, running light. Linear running light. Hey, hey, actually, linear running light. Okay. It's a linear running light. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, actually, this is our first uh, project we've done with the, those lights. Mm -hmm. It's a very new thing in the market. Very, very yeah, I've, new. I've not seen it anywhere. Very it new. Even in I'm Nairobi, yeah. maybe the houses that have this are countable. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is just something that came into the market. We used to have the lights, mm -hmm. but we just switch them on and there. Yeah. They don't. But this one linear running and yeah. giving you different moods. Mm -hmm. 
This is a very fast project that we did here. Yeah. Yeah. It gives uh, the gives them an extra touch yeah, an extra of glass. Touch, yeah, of yeah. glass. So yeah. we have those linear running light. Mm -hmm. Then we have the shadow light. You can see. Um, so the shadow light is the yellow and the brown one, one. And, the, and the outer one. And the, the oh, okay, okay. Oh. We call them interior um, indirect lighting. Mm -hmm. and then we have the down lighters. Down lights are these uh, independent. Yeah, yeah. Down lights. Down light. Uh, okay. Down Shadow. Down light. Shadow running light. 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 So uh. you have the chandelier. This is now that's the big name. The chandelier. Chandelier. Yeah, because the chandelier. You know, one. a long time ago, chandelier. Used to, I, I used to think chandelier is some um, women's cloth or something. <laughs> Uh, is it the case? Cindelia. Oh, Cindelia. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Cindelia. So, Cindelia and Chandelier normally confuse me. <laughs> so, this is the Chandelier. So this is the Chandelier. Okay, okay. Let me show you how it works. Can you switch it off so that we can switch it off? Okay, switch it on now. And it has just a crystal clear. This one is golden. Oh, oh golden. Oh, I get it, I get it. What? Oh, this is... Yeah, this is magical. Yeah. Uh, this one is very, very... Makes this place magical. Yeah. Yeah, it makes you, you know, it makes you just come home, want to relax. So and this see. came from China. Yeah, yeah. I watched that video. China. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I also googled more of them in the Chinese, uh, mm. you know, they, Taobao. They're, they're very creative. Yeah, I, I, go, I went on Taobao and I searched. Oh. You know, when, when he was showing the video, mm. I paused and I screenshotted and uh, I went to Taobao. Taobao is like, uh, you know, like Jumia. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, I, I don't know, what is that? I, yeah. I saw when I was in China last mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know how they do it, but uh, if you want to go online and Google mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. Even if you don't know the name, you just post the way you can Google with a photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, I think I, I can show you. I can show you right yeah, now. I always wondered because when yeah, I was yeah. there, they used to do it for me like that. Yeah. But when they came here, I so, forgot. Is it an app? Yeah, it's an app. So this is Taobao. Oh, but it has to be. You have to be in China for you to get that app. Uh, I don't know if they have an international. Because I only platform. saw this in Chinese. Uh, in China. There's, there's a place you can take a photo, so we can take this photo. And actually, mm -hmm. it can search. Oh, what's oh you take a photo with the, the tabba itself. Yeah, with tabba. Oh. Maybe it's sensing that I'm fast. You, when you travel, sometimes... Oh, it's not online. Yeah. I don't know. I told you this is a Chinese thing. I only saw it in China. Yeah. Because like, huh? I had some shoes. Mm -hmm. The lady wanted some shoes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. We couldn't uh, get them, so I just saw the lady took a photo, and, uh, put it on the app, yeah. and they brought so many images of yeah, the same shoes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I wanted to show you how it works. Let me just take a photo, and I'll go to Taobao, and uh, just hold on to a second. I think... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You see it's searching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it scans like that. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. it gives you suggestion. Now you see yeah. how I do it. I did it. So it brings you different types. Mm. So you can get very amazing, amazing uh, designs. Well, that app is only... Uh, can I download that app on my phone? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can <laughs> try the international version. I don't know if they have the international version. How do you call it? Because Taobao is This one is Taobao. Taobao. T-A-O-B-A-O. Taobao. Is it in the App Store? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I, it should not be on... Because you know the Chinese, you've been there, you saw how yes. their apps are very exclusive yeah, to them. Yeah, they are yeah. very different. Yeah. I, I don't know. They don't even use Google. Yeah. Uh, maybe is this the one? That marrow boat. Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Mm. You know, sometimes when you are far, it takes time to load. But it's, this is the one that marrow boat. It's, it's close. It's not exactly that one, but it's close. Oh, oh this one. Close to this one. Uh, this, this one. one. Yeah. When you are oh, far, when you open it. 
it uh, it sometimes it acts funny. Well, this one, right? Yeah, it's something yeah, close it's to all, yeah, something close to that. Yeah, Actually, something. it's the one. It's only that this one. Yeah, it's the one. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's only that this one is close range. Oh, close okay. range. Yeah, it's fun. And that one is bigger. This is a smaller version. Yeah, this is a smaller one. Yeah. Mm. And you can see the metallic silvery background. Yeah, yeah it's the same, same, same. Yeah, the same, same. So this is how we buy things in China. Oh. Yeah, so if I see your cape and I like it, like I don't tell you. You just take I don't tell you I like your shop. Yeah, I, I go to your pictures, I... Go scan your, your cap and I oh, scan on Taobao and I get it. So next time you are meeting, how did you buy this one? <laughs> so you don't know, you gave me the idea. Oh. Yeah, so that's how we shop uh, using Taobao. So okay. it, 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 I don't know if it's, it's an international version. Or maybe you should ask Marwa how he bought it. No, he, this one is a guy who... The guy, the, uh, it's called... Jungle Adventures. Oh, Jungle Adventures. Guy, yeah, he does imports. Uh -huh. He's the one who approached Marwa. Uh -huh. Then he just sent him a catalog. Uh -huh. we, we, he chose the photo. The, oh, the, okay. The lightings. Oh. Yeah, so maybe we can... We can go and finish his style. Also here, you'll do the gypsum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the gypsum. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to remove this. Yeah, we'll just remove it and uh, turn it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just, we're not doing too low. The house is already too low. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time I'm getting up here. Oh, okay. yeah. It uh, feels like a very big privilege for me. Enjoy the view. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. You know, it's one thing to see it on the camera, and it's another thing to be here physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. physically. Actually, what? the camera does not, does not get it out the way. Yeah, yeah. So, it's more very beautiful. On Oh you my. see the, 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 it's not with an eye. Oh, this. Let me. <laughs> this is a good job. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very good job. Yes, if you, somebody you. is thinking of uh, doing uh, interiors, this is the right guy for you guys. In concept, In concept interiors. Interiors. Studio. studio. Uh, yeah. Guys, don't just plan to build the house. Plan up to the last stage, and the last stage should be this. And uh, should the painter be the last person or... Because in uh, Maro's video I've heard maybe the painter should be the last person. Yeah, basically, uh, you know, on the, uh, all construction sites, uh, you just prepare the walls, do mm -hmm. the undercoats, mm -hmm. and then uh, finish everything else, and then uh, the painter comes in last. Okay. Yeah, do the paint. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this uh, gypsum, is this just for the lounge, main lounge, yeah, or you can, can do, do also this in, in the, the bedroom, mm -hmm. in the lounge, in the mm -hmm. corridors, you can do it anywhere. Oh, yeah. But later you'll do on the other rooms. Yeah, we will do. We'll do most of them, depending on which rooms mm -hmm. once done. Okay. We are yet to, you know, we are we are going step by step. Mm -hmm. First, after we we finish there, we, we need we'll start with the kitchen. We mm -hmm. finish the kitchen, then mm -hmm. come to the dining area, mm -hmm. to the lounge. After we finish there, mm -hmm. now we'll go to the bedrooms. Okay. Slowly, slowly, as we design. So, how long can? Uh, First of how long did you take to just build this gypsum here? We fixed this within two weeks. Two weeks? This one, we did it in two weeks. Day and, and night or in the night? No, no, just during the day. In fact, it took longer because mm -hmm. uh, we, we, the machine we came with, mm -hmm. the impact uh, drill that we mm -hmm. came with to, to drill the slab, mm -hmm. uh, had a problem mm -hmm. and we couldn't get the uh, drill here. So we had to order another drill from Nairobi. Okay. We had to wait for two days okay. for it to come, uh -huh. and then uh, we continued again. But we did it in two weeks. Okay. Uh, but that was very slow because we were also doing content. Uh -huh. so, but this is something we can do in uh, something this in one and a half weeks and one week. Okay. Yeah. And how about for the whole house? Somebody gives you uh, a it depends. It depends with the design. You know, gypsum has so many designs. Some mm -hmm. are complicated, some are simple. Mm -hmm. So it depends with the design, but uh, it also depends with the, with the workforce. Okay. Uh, every, every, uh, just uh, any work that you do, mm -hmm. the, the duration depends on the workforce. You can have, we can do the whole house in two weeks because we'll have a team here, a team there, a team there, a team mm -hmm. there, a team there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it depends on the workforce and okay. how prepared the client is. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, I get, you know, I, I get so excited. There is a company I've been following, I want to mention, but from there I won't follow them anymore. <laughs> uh, and follow, and follow, and follow you. Uh, 
Because right, right, right. normally, all of, all of both of them, all of them. Uh, okay, maybe when, when I have to rule, I'll, I'll maybe look both sides and what we have in China and other parts of the world, ah. and then if God wishes, I will look for you. I'll be here. And then you, you'll advise me more. God will. Yeah. So what's the first step you normally do to a client? Uh, so no, first you we meet? Come, we come to the site, we look at the site, we mm -hmm. take measurements, mm -hmm. and then we advise you, we give you, we consult with you what you want, mm -hmm. we give you several options. Mm -hmm. and then from the options that the client goes with, we do a quotation, mm -hmm. and then from there, we, if we agree, mm -hmm. we, we continue. Start. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when when I start building the house from foundation, I need you in mind already. We need to set up a meeting so that we know what we want to uh, achieve. First, uh, okay. If you want, a, if you want a good finish, mm -hmm. when you when you start, uh, when your architect is doing your drawings, mm -hmm. uh, it is good to get an interior designer to do for you the three D of mm -hmm. your house before mm -hmm. you start building it. Oh, you can do it. 3D. That's what they do in the US. You get every space designed, every space furnished. Okay. So that you are sure when I bring a six by six bed in this room, it will fit. Oh yeah. You see, we construct bedrooms, then you bring a king size bed and it's not fitting. Okay. Then you start demolishing the walls. Okay. Yeah, so I would advise a client is once the architect is done. You see, the problem is uh, here in Africa, uh -huh. most architects uh, there's a course they do about interior design. Uh -huh. When you're doing architectural, uh -huh. you study uh, a portion of interior design, uh -huh. but are uh, not in detail. Uh -huh. So they dwell so much on the, on the, on the architectural side. Mm -hmm. So you find most of the buildings when they build, when uh -huh. you get inside, the, the space is not functional. Uh -huh. Yeah, the space is not functional because you find a villa like this uh -huh. uh, deserves a very, very, very big kitchen. Uh -huh. Uh, then you find the space that is put for the kitchen is too small. Okay. So you need to expand. But once you build, that's uh -huh. when you realize, ah, this space is too small. Uh -huh. But if you do that on the design, uh -huh. you see when we are doing, when the software we use to design interior uh -huh. gives you the measurements and everything. Okay. It has the measurements. So I can, sure, I can be sure that my kitchen is 3 meters by 2 meters. I uh -huh. fit in my cookers, my fridge, my everything. They fit in very well in the living room. Okay. In the kitchen, okay. and then I'll be able to see in the drawing. The copyright, yeah, yeah, it's a very can post, yeah. then the copyright strikes you. Yeah, yeah thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, so uh, what I would advise is if, if you are if you are building for uh -huh. the first time, uh -huh. make sure once you are architect, uh, okay, they will tell you the, the architects, they will tell you that. Uh, they do architectural and interior design, uh -huh. but you need to get an interior designer who is practicing interior design as a profession, uh -huh. uh, just pure interior design. Uh -huh. they, they know the spaces, they understand the space, they've been working on the space each and every time. Uh -huh. So they just check for you if the space is functional, uh -huh. and then they can do for you the design uh -huh. for each and every space, each and every room. Uh -huh. And then once the 3D fits uh -huh. in the drawing, uh -huh. then you can go ahead and construct. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you will construct and uh -huh. then you find. That's why, uh, let me say, 80% of the houses that we do, uh -huh. uh, we try to fit in things uh -huh. because we don't have enough space, uh -huh. or we demolish some areas uh -huh. to create space, uh -huh. or we compromise on some designs because something was not. Oh, yeah, 80%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And uh, we, we, we are coming to the end of this video mm -hmm. so that, uh, so that uh, we, I, I want to do a tour of the outer, uh, outside oh, space. Outside tour, yeah. Today morning, Ayamarua asked you if you can design a helicopter because he intends to set up a helicopter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, can you deliver that? No, I'm not designing the helipad. Uh -huh. um, the helipad is not designed. It's just a space where the chopper uh -huh. comes to rest. Okay. But uh, because when we came here, we realized that um, uh, there were so many things that were not right uh -huh. in different areas. Yeah? Uh -huh. So I was telling him, uh, for you to land a chopper on this building, you need to get a, an, an, an an engineer, uh -huh. inspection engineer, just to come uh -huh. and verify the structure that uh -huh. is safe uh -huh. for the vibration. Uh -huh. Because the, the vibration Because we could have put in everything else uh -huh. to, to sustain the weight, uh -huh. but maybe it was not constructed uh -huh. the way it was designed. Okay. So it's just an inspection to come check. There, there are gadgets nowadays that can even 
tell you the strength of a beam and strength of a pillar. Uh -huh. They just measure. Uh -huh. is, uh, they can tell you oh. if the house is strong enough to survive the vibration. Otherwise, uh -huh. you could land a chopper there, uh -huh. and then the vibration could make the, the you house crack. Uh, yeah. Some structures. Yeah. You know, me when he says that, my, in my mind, you just go on the top of the house, draw a circle, and a big hedge. Maybe no, in the end. Oh, that, oh it's heads. just basically that way. Yeah, but for me to land there, yeah. uh, just an advice you should go, mm -hmm. get a structural engineer, come look at the house, mm -hmm. uh, test, look at the, the strength of the beams mm -hmm. and also the strength of the slab. Oh. Uh, if it can withstand the vibration of a chopper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can so, you can you access yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Oh, they say if you go somewhere, be intelligent. This is a very intelligent way of a house tour. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we yeah. have another beautiful night here. I've been having problems online. People are saying uh, uh, this light is more beautiful than the other one. Can you interchange? I don't what? Know. But for me, honestly, that one fits perfectly there. Yeah, what, what I normally tell them is the beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. You look at this, to yeah. me, it will be very beautiful. Yeah. To you, it will not be that beautiful. beautiful. Oh. Uh, so there was best appearance a little bit. No, it's okay. And guys, actually, I'm actually delighted that uh, Mr. Ebole has taken time to... Okay, I didn't know... Oh, I, I didn't know this will end up being a house tour, honestly. Uh, because I was to ask Marwa to take me around, but okay. I, don't, I don't need to do that anymore. Okay. Yeah, but this is impressive. Yeah, so this is the place. Yeah. Uh, Marwa wants a chopper to land here. So if, uh, our, exactly. if our structure is approved, uh -huh. uh, we could do a chopper helipad over there. Or mm -hmm. there. Just do a big hedge. Can but most likely this space, because this space has so many pillars. Okay, where exactly so that I feel that? <laughs> just here, just here. You just make a take this space here and do oh. a big hedge here. Oh, okay, okay. And just comes and lands here. So the pilot uh, must be cautious of that. So now you see, when you're coming, you are landing, you land like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't land like this. So if you're coming to land here, first of all, you have to come here uh -huh. and then you come and down. descend down yeah. and park here. Yeah. So can two choppers actually fit here? Yeah. Because even yeah. or even three. But we are looking at the structure. This place has so many pillars. There's okay. a pillar here, uh -huh. pillar there, pillar uh -huh. there, pillar there. Uh -huh. This place has no pillar. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, because this uh, place has no pillar. Yeah, so it can so vibrate there. and maybe sink yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very, very. So impressive. you can see Maro is calling me on the gate. I think there's something he wants me to oh, check. Okay. So this is the rooftop. Mm -hmm. This is how it looks. Mm -hmm. So when we come in January, mm -hmm. we'll be working on this rooftop. Okay. We want to just make sure that there's no. Uh, leakages okay, of okay. water okay. in the house, mm -hmm. so we'll be fixing the roof. Okay. Once we finish fixing the roof, then we go down and start okay. with the kitchen. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. It's because sometimes, <laughs> so the challenge, the reason we are doing this is because when we were, but when the roof was done, yes, you only had one point of the storm water, which is here. It's called storm water. Storm water. This okay. Is storm water. Rainy so water. Rains, yeah, all the water, water storm, storm water. water. So all the water for this roof is coming here. Okay. Yeah, and the roof is too big. Yeah. The yes. Roof is too big. So all this water is too much. Okay. You only have one point of water. So okay. what they did, they had to raise the level over there. Yes. So that they can direct all the water here. That's true. But because you have a swimming pool here, we cannot have all the water come here. That's true. So what we are doing right now, we want to try and manage this water. Okay. Try to get uh, different channels where we can have uh, some water going through the downpipes on that side. Okay. And some on that side. Okay. So for us to achieve that, yes. we need to remove the grid. Okay. Once we remove the screw, then we can... So, screw is this one that they are moving? What we are removing. Okay. So, we remove the screw until we get the original slab. Original? Yeah, original So, slab. for example, this is the original yeah, one. This is the original slab. This is the original Then from here now, we can take our levels and direct the water in different, different directions. My question is, why can't we put it on top of this already existing roof? It will go very high. Because okay. already it's too high. Okay. Yeah, so and that also can, that, make, can, can make the house. It's also too heavy. 
too heavy. Uh, you see, after we do that, all that terrazzo needs to come back here. Whoa. Uh, so we need. Uh, wh why we are doing this also is because yeah. uh, this the screen that they did on top yeah. was not very well waterproof. That's why the house is leaking. Okay. Yeah. So we need to do another screen that is well waterproofed. Uh -huh. and then uh, on top of that screen, we are going to apply the membrane. Yeah. Once you apply the membrane, that's when you are going to seal the membrane with the terrazzo. Oh, I understand. Uh, normally what they do in a, in a commercial building is that uh, once you do the screen, which is waterproofed, okay. you, first of all you start with the, with the, with the slab, okay. the, concrete, the, 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 the slab itself, when the slab is being cast. Okay. Yeah. And, and the recommended uh, slab for the roof, normally when you're doing uh, concrete, you use a three-quarter ballast. Eh? The small okay. one. Three quarter, the normal one is three quarter. Okay. Yeah. So for uh, an effective uh, waterproofing roof uh, to prevent the water from seeping through, you need to do less than three quarter, which is maybe maybe half inch, so oh. half inch uh, uh, ballast. Ba very small yeah, one. Yeah, half inch, so that when it is very like stone very well. Yeah. They, there are no air pockets. I see. The slab. So if you use three quarter, the normal one, if you don't vibrate well, you, you have a lot of air pockets in the in your in your concrete. Wow. Yeah, and then it needs to be vibrated very well. Uh -huh. And you also to do you also need to add what you call uh, the add mixture, which is the the waterproofing solution, the waterproofing chemical okay. in the in the original slab. Okay. When you are casting. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of work to be done. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot and, of work. And especially, I feel like this this also is one of the hardest work. Yeah, this, this is the hardest. Once we finish this, yeah, uh, doing the screed will be faster. Then after we do the screed, our screed will have a waterproofing uh, element. Waterproofing uh, add mixer. We are going to add waterproofing in it. Okay. Once we do that screed with the waterproofing, yeah. and then uh, when it's, it's uh, when it is settled very well, then you are going to apply the membrane. Okay. On the on the on the screen. So once we do the membrane on the screen, yes. Then you need now to protect that membrane. Some people do uh, quarry tiles. Okay. Some people do even uh, normal tiles. Okay. But as at least we have a terrazzo. So but terrazzo is the one that we protect. Because if you do a membrane here and don't protect it, yeah. When you walk on it again with the shoes, eh? Yeah. It will scratch, and then uh, the membrane will come out. And uh, there's a possibility of water seeping in. Wow, so that's again. why we have to cover it. Wow. Because a membrane is like applying a very yeah. thin layer of a polythene sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so my question, actually, my question was, yeah. why should I do a membrane instead of looking for a polythene paper and just put it? The problem with a polythene paper, it does not bond. If you do a polythene paper here and put cement on top, you can yeah. pull it like this. You find that the, the the sand on top of the polythene and the slab is not bonded. When you do in, a polythene paper in between, yeah, it, it, it even at the at, at the very start of the construction, let's say we have a metal, mm -hmm. because I remember they did something like that in this house here. We have we have like a metal because I, I, after this I I complained a lot to my engineer and told him it's becoming very expensive, mm -hmm. which it is right now. You can see. So I told them uh, if they put the timbers mm -hmm. and they, the they put the polythene paper. Normally, uh, polythene paper, yeah. we use it for, we call it DPC, damp proof yeah. membrane. Yeah. That one you do on the foundation. Foundation. Yeah. Not it's on the just roof. Just to protect the dampness from coming down Up. through. Up. Yes. Yeah. Roof yeah. yeah. You see, so the roof, the timbers. Yeah. yeah. The moment they move the timbers, that polythene yeah, the leaves. Will, as will I was telling you. Yeah. yeah. So they need to do this uh, concrete like soup type. Yeah. That yeah, polythene helps it not to penetrate. Yeah. So when you vibrate, that soup won't go won't down. down. So the moment you move that polythene, the, all those the air, the air spaces, yeah, all they, enclosed. They still remain. So the, the recommended for especially for the rooftop yeah. is uh, just waterproof. Uh, make sure you use uh, the admixture in the in the initial in the initial uh, concrete. Yes. And then do the waterproofing. Mm -hmm. Do the membrane. Uh -huh. After the membrane, you do the screed, which is also waterproof, and then you protect it. Oh. Yeah. And how hard will this be? Because we intend to have a helicopter landing. 
on the roof. Now all those things they have a component. Even the the the, the membrane. Yeah. Uh, had some cement based. Uh, it it is it has the solution. We mix the solution with cement based product. Okay. Which bonds very well with the with the with the slab. Okay. And then on top of that, after with our screed also will be cement. Okay. Uh, cement sand and also with the waterproofing solution okay. which also bonds with the slab so everything bonds together so that uh, it, it comes up at the end of the day it is one thing solid oh it's not like this one that mm. they have layers yeah that's why if you do a polythene bag here like now if we do a polythene bag here yeah and do the screed on top of the polythene bag we uh -huh. have two layers so if there's a vibration here the top layer will easily crack okay yeah, because the top layer is not bonding with the screen with the concrete itself okay that's why you cannot use a polythene bag to do the wow. in case there's a cracks yes guys we are here i'm with mr ebole in concept in, uh, in concept yeah. interiors and uh i've worked with him uh, before so i found him a very uh, reliable person to work with again so we are actually up here trying to fix this you see how the boys are working you might think this is a quarry area you know for me i i see like i've spent a lot of money yeah, already right. because this is cement that went into waste uh, but if we don't do this we will spend more more money yeah so we just have to do this once and for all once and for all so what guarantee do you give me hmm? what guarantee you're taking this deal <laughs> the guarantee i'm giving you <laughs> yeah because i want to know guys it will not leak Yes, it will not it leak. Will not leak. Yes. If you follow all the procedures. Okay. Yeah, if we waterproof, if we do the membrane, waterproof the screed, and then we do the terrazzo. That is those, are, those are like uh, three three layers. layers of waterproofing. Wow. Because the screed has waterproofing in it, the membrane is like a sheet, yes. which is also protecting the water. Then the terrazzo, we are using white cement, which is also waterproof. Okay. So this one we must reach at, at the concrete. Yeah, to get the screen, the original. The original. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that will help us now to, to take the levels. Because my because question the is, is the other, yeah. Uh, that's why I was telling you, maybe we need to separate this roof. Okay. Like from here to there. Okay. We need to build a small wall, maybe one foot up here. Uh huh. Yeah, so that we can be able to manage this water on this side. Okay. And then maybe we can manage another one there, then we manage this one. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, it will help. It also also help us to take the levels because it is too big. But now, if you're saying we build. Why can't we still leave this one? Because I, I believe we will put another one. Now, once we build here, yeah. we, we, if we leave it, then we will use a lot of sand again. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, we use a lot of sand to add on top. But if we remove it, then we just need to take the measurement for that end and this one, get the level, then just plant it on that side. Okay. Mm. Well, guys, that's what we are doing here. And uh, this whole week, we will be on top of this roof trying to fix it. How many days do you think approximately this can spend? Uh, this is it, the hardest part. This is the hardest part. Uh, when it comes to the screed, yeah, we just need a uh, good, experienced fully who can work quickly. Okay. The, the other hardest part will be to check the levels of which I'll do. Okay. Uh, I have I have my horse pipe over there. Okay. I need to check the levels for the whole roof. Okay. And measure each and every space, and also do some some points that will give me the levels. Yeah. Once we do that, we just need some people that can do screening very fast. Yeah. Once how we do we do how do we test if if this house can actually hold an helicopter on top here? Uh, we need we need a um, structural engineer. We need a structural engineer. Yeah. And if you can remember the if you can remember the ratio yeah. that you used when you're doing the pillars. Yeah. You know the pillars when you're doing the yeah they were the best construction actually. of the pillars. Yeah. What you need to do is get the sand that you used to do the pillar. Yeah. Get the the ballast that you used. Yeah. And then get the cement the same ratio. You need to take it to the lab. You just coroga that, take it to the lab. They will test it for you. There are some special labs that test the strength of the concrete. There's no way somebody can test even when the house is standing. We just need to test the, the strength of the concrete. For us to test, maybe is to hit it with a hammer, which will bring it down. Okay. But uh, I know you can remember the ratio that uh, the guys who are casting. Yeah, I have they my can engineer. remember the, the engineer just to give us the ratio, what they used. The yeah. sand, you use this river sand. Yeah. Then you use the ballast, the normal ballast and yeah. cement. 
Yeah. That ratio, you just need to take that, take it to the lab. They will make some blocks for you and test the strength of those blocks. Uh, what is uh, the fear if if a helicopter lands here? Another thing is uh, maybe you could get a structural engineer. Yeah. Uh, just uh, to check the the, the the bars that you used for the. For no, the they were they were very. Yeah. I went through when. Uh, but I have. When it was in a skeleton bar. So yeah. You know the bars are usually are the twenty and the twenty-five. If I yes. remember. They are very. Yeah, even here, even yeah. here they are running. There, there are these beams that there are so many beams that run. From yeah. Mm. I did. But you know there's a difference between a beam and a pillar. A pillar. No. For my pillar, I used uh, D16. D16. And yeah. not for at least. One, two, three, four, six. The so last one. I remember they yeah. were six. We just yeah. need, we, we, we need to get a structural engineer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you give him just a, I know this house is all on video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you see the video and how you did it. Yeah, he will be able then, to see. Uh, see the sand and the ballast, and we can do those mini and test. Yeah. He will be able to tell you very easily. Well, guys, uh, this is Mr. Ebole. We are here. Uh, we've started working. Actually, I think this should be my second last project to do mm. before I start traveling. But you know, once I secure this, I know the house is yeah, safe. The house is secure. Because yeah. now Mr. Bole did a very nice uh, gypsum ceiling. Gypsum ceiling. Yeah. If that gypsum fills any water drops, yeah, that is yeah. it. Yeah. So spray. now we are, we are really trying to ensure we take care of that. Yes, all right, Mr. Bole. I'll be seeing you around or you have some, something to say extra. Uh, no, um, maybe you ask people to follow you on YouTube. Yeah, thank you guys. Follow yes. us on YouTube in Concept Interior Studio. Yes, what do you do actually as your company? Mm, my company, yes. And are you giving me a, a, a card for marketing? You know, that's another question I have to ask you on camera. <laughs> yes, imagine marketing on IMRO every day. I'll give you a. I told you what a I'll table. Give you. <laughs> you'll see what I'll bring. It okay. might take time, but at the end of the day, okay. it will be worth waiting. Okay. Mm, we don't so, reveal it here. Then okay. we'll see when we reveal it. Tell, tell people what your company is. So, my company is uh, in Concept Interior Studio. Yes, you can turn around and they see the number. Yeah, in Concept Interior Studio. Yes. And this is its number, guys, here. Yes. Very soon we are changing to in concept, uh, construction and interior. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are also venturing into construction. We've been yeah. doing interiors for quite some time. Yes. But we are venturing into construction due to due to public demand. Okay. Like what we've been doing in your house here. Yeah. We came. You see now we are demolishing. This. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was not done the right way. Yeah. We also did a lot of demolishing in the bathrooms. Yeah. And there we did some demolishing in the kitchens. Yes. Some basic things that were supposed to be done that were not done correctly. Yes. So being that uh, we've done a lot of interior design jobs. Yeah. We have an experience in uh, just setting out things and doing the first things first correctly. Okay. So that the second thing we don't go back and demolish to do the third and the fourth thing. Okay. So we have been facing that challenge in the market whereby we go into a site and there are so many things that are, have been done wrongly. wrongly and we are supposed to do the finishes. So we get okay. a lot of challenges. Okay. So we are incorporating an a construction company whereby when we are coming up with the structure and the drawings, okay. we have put in place everything where it's supposed to be. Uh, design wise everything we have designed this will come here this will come here so when we built it yeah. there's no demolition so that we follow each and every step that construction requires okay. uh, each and every step that uh, the engineers require to do we have we have uh, engineers on our board we have architects okay. we have uh, the, a whole team interior of uh, designers. interior designers oh. so uh, our company does uh, currently we are we are interior designers yeah. but uh, we are we are venturing into construction now the, from the scratch call, yeah i would call this construction this is a, this is not interior design anymore yeah because this is exterior yeah, uh, this is uh, exterior it is yeah. part of construction this one hard yeah construction hard construction so we'll be doing uh, we have several clients that we are working uh, right now we are working on several projects from okay. scratch we are doing the drawings wow we'll be revealing them to, to the people once we begin on your youtube channel yeah on my youtube channel channel we'll yes. be documenting everything so we have several pilot projects that we are beginning that we are we are drawing from the scratch our architects are drawing they're designing everything once wow. they design mm -hmm. then we'll build the house and do the finishes it's coming okay. on our youtube channel why should people trust you and not any other company like now why is maro trusting you over any other that's a, a serious question why should i give you my millions mr ball and not another company yes uh, why are you why are you trusting me with the roof? 
because you did a very good job uh, on the ceiling. So I said, this guy, uh, Mr. Ebola and his company, uh, took my job seriously than the previous people I've worked with. So yes. we don't. We are not telling people to trust us. Yeah. We are just telling people to watch our channel, to watch yeah. our tu YouTube. Yeah. Our YouTube is very educative. We are teaching people like uh, once. Why, once I document this roof, you can always yeah. do this with your fundi. Yeah. Following the steps that we are going to follow. Yes. So following the steps that you are going to do here, if you watch our YouTube, uh -huh. you will be able to use your foreman or your contractor or your need to make sure that you come up with the re with the correct measures and the correct construction of the roof. Okay. So in our channel, it's very educative. We are teaching everybody. Just watch our channels. Yeah. You will see how we will do for the other client. Okay. Then from there, you will decide whether you want to trust us okay. or, or not. not. Yeah. All right. Guys, that's Mr. Ebole marketing his, his company in a good way. I want to ask you guys to check his YouTube channel. And also, uh, I would be very excited to see uh, before and after. And after.